So for number 30, we need to have a, we have a logarithmic expression that needs to be written all as a single logarithm. So we have log base 4 of x minus log base 2 of y minus 3 log base 2 of z. So we want to combine this all to a single logarithm. So remember that to do that, all of your logs have to have the same base. And right now that doesn't happen because this one and this one have base 2, but our x has a, a log of base 4. So we need to fix that first, and we can do that by using change of base formula. So remember that change of base formula says you can put any log you want of the argument over that same log of the base. And the new base can be anything you want. But we want it to be 2 because we want it to match everything else. So we're going to get log base 2, log base 2. And you put the old base on the bottom and what you're taking the log of on top. So we can simplify this though because log base 2 of 4 is a nice simple quantity. So remember that this is essentially asking you 2 to what power is 4, 2 to the second power is 4. So this is all just 2. So we get 1 half, because it's on the denominator, log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of y minus 3 log base 2 of z. So the last thing we need to do before we can start combining is that we need to get rid of all of the coefficients and we need to turn them into powers instead. So we can do that because a coefficient is just becomes a power of your argument here. So we have log base 2 of x to the 1 half. x to the 1 half, of course, is square root of x. Minus log base 2 of y. So this 3 becomes a third power on the z. And we get log base 2 of z cubed. Now everything is log base 2, we got rid of all the coefficients, and now we can combine. So in any string of logarithms that have the same base like this, anything that's positive makes that term be on the numerator, anything that's negative makes that term be on the denominator. Remember, negative means you're doing division of that. So finally, we're condensing this all to a single log of base 2. So root x is on our numerator because that term is positive. The other two are minus, so we're dividing by those two terms. They're going to be on the denominator. We get y, z cubed. And now we've written it all as just one single logarithm. And that, of course, then is answer choice d.